I'm Jane English and I was part of the team, I suppose, that established Support Act. The establishment of Support Act was a story that was 17 years in the making. Uh, it started in 1980 as an idea, as a concept. It was a dinner with Stevie Wright, who had been a uh, singer of the Easy Beats and with his own band. And at the time, Ted Albert had given him a job as a label manager. He'd just come out of Chelmsford Hospital. He'd lost his short-term memory and wasn't able to write songs. And also there was John Brommel. John Brommel had been a drummer in a band called The Cicadas and had toured England around the same time as The Beatles and The Easy Beats and was a kind of a fan of Stevie and The Easy Beats. Uh, and then there was myself. I was sharing a place with Stevie Wright in Manly and I was working with John Brommel uh, who was heading up Rondor Music Publishing uh, and we're at the Malay restaurant in Mount Street, North Sydney. And that dinner, after that dinner, we walked downstairs and Stevie went off and John Brommel said to me, the music industry doesn't look after people like Stevie Wright. He has no money, he has no super, and yet he's taken Australian music to England and to Europe and has made a huge uh, stamp on the world for Australian music and the music industry should look after the Stevie Wrights of, uh, of, our, of our world. So John Brommel asked me to research all what we call them benevolent funds around the world, the industries, associations that looked after their own kind. And John Brommel went to the music business industry uh, with that concept and no one, no, there was no interest uh, principally how to fund it. From 1980 to 1997, John Brommel never gave up. He lobbied and lobbied the music business industry to believe in this concept. And, um, you know, it's interesting when I think about the 25 years of Support Act that it actually took 17 years for it, from that concept to it becoming a reality in the boardroom of APRA in their offices of North Sydney. And most of the people around that board table were actually music publishers. There was Brett Cottle and FIFA, Riccobono. And uh, I remember Brett Cottle coming up with the idea of Support Act, of the name of Support Act. And everyone went, great idea, like that's, that's that done. The founding members, which was uh, ended up being APRA, AMCOS, ARIA and PPCA. Uh, and then there was just the, the ambit of what support that would be, who would, who would be eligible, um, what the criteria was. The first board was formed and that was incorporated on the 7th of August, I think, 1997. And from there, that it had been established. And that's the story of the establishment of Support Act. I came back in 2003 and I joined the board of Support Act. And it was fabulous, really, that it was still going, that it still had a life. Um, it was helping a lot of people. The, impact of Support Act over the last 25 years has been way beyond its original concept. The original idea was that Support Act would assist musicians who had taken Australian music overseas, the export really of Australian music, and that those people would be helped. But what has happened, which is wonderful, um, is that that support has gone to, went to the crew uh, and to other people, support people within the music industry. It has now gone all the way to helping health, mental health and the Save a Mate fundraising, where you can name a particular person, which is wonderful. Um, and on a personal level, my brother-in-law, John English, who died in 2016, uh, he died without any funds, without any money, and um, the person on the end of my 
phone call was Lindy Morrison and she was so I had this experience of being uh, an applicant, I suppose. She just, yes, we'll help, we'll fund. It was so easy. Um, and so that was how I, I experienced it at a, at a personal level as well for a member of my own family. I think there will always be a need for Support Act, particularly now it has government recognition. The fact that the government is now giving its funds for the music industry through Support Act is is life-saving. I do feel proud to have been at the beginning of Support Act and the establishment of Support Act and to see where it has gone.